Wind and solar farms are a common sight in this region, but there's another form of renewable energy which is growing every year. Anaerobic digestion turns food and farm waste and some crops into power. On the edge of the fens, they're turning pig waste into biogas. It's thought to be the first facility of its size in the country. This grey dome on a farm near Methwold is turning this steaming stuff into heat for our homes. Andy Soane's pigs generate 17,000 tonnes of muck a year, and that generates methane, a greenhouse gas which will soon be harnessed by this plant. What's in it for you, Andy? In it for me is I'll get the muck taken away quicker, um, and also I'll get some uh, cheaper electricity back from the plant as well. The teeth just break it up and get it into a homogenous state. John so Scott Kerr shows me how the pig muck will be transferred from this hopper into three massive silos. Here, without oxygen, microorganisms break it down, called anaerobic digestion. Well, they call this vast chamber the concrete cow's stomach. And that's because in about eight weeks' time, these giant paddles will be churning around 4,000 tonnes of pig muck and crop which after 45 days generates biogas, a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide. It then comes out of the plant, down these tubes, and it's in all of this apparatus here that we filter it, upgrade it, and get it ready to then go into the gas grid. Enough gas to heat 4,500 homes in winter, 60,000 in the summer months. And unlike solar or wind power, it generates energy whatever the weather. In, in Norfolk, we now have six plants. The agricultural lay of the land here suits it very well. It's flat, there's black grass problems, and we can help alleviate that. It's very much a partnership with local farming communities, and the farming community of Norfolk is significant. At the country's largest agriculture and machinery show in Peterborough today, those promoting biofuel and biogas say what's needed is a greater government commitment to the industry. What we really need, as opposed to a subsidy regime level, we need some certainty in that subsidy regime which allows us to plan for the next three to five years um, and encourage that, that investment to come in. This sector of renewable energy is still a fledgling business. Germany has 7,000 anaerobic digestion plants compared to just 400 in this country. And with a strong agricultural heritage in the east, there's plenty more brass to be made out of muck like this. Alex Dunlop, BBC Look East, West Norfolk.